At the beginning of 2022, I decided to take advantage of the Robinhood app automatic investment program. Instead of Starbucks every day, as some of the boomers say, wreck our finances, I'd turn around and take that $5 I would have spent on Starbucks and put that into an investment. Then after some further thought, I decided to up the ante. And instead of doing $5 a day, I did $10 a day into two different investments because inflation. After all, a $5 Starbucks is kind of hard to get nowadays. It's more like $7 or $10. So what I decided to do is take $5 a day and put it into an S&P 500 fund and then another $5 a day and put it into a cryptocurrency. Crypto versus stock, which one's gonna perform better? And how does this actually look after 304 days in this year so far? We'll find out all of that. And if you stick around, I got some bonus tips to share with you at the end of the video so that we can become better investors in 2023. Okay, let's get started with, first of all, discussing the plan. So, you know, a lot of people say, I don't have enough money to get started with investing. And I get that, I've been there, you know. Our net worth used to be negative $54,000, which that means that if we sold everything, literally had nothing, we'd still owe an additional $54,000. Now we've turned that around. We're at $800,000 net worth, almost on our way to a million and I bet if this year didn't stink, we'd be there, man. But you know, to get started into this weird world of investing, how do you actually do it? Well, the best thing is you got something like Robinhood and, and the reason I like that is it has zero commissions. You can go in, you can buy a company, you can buy a stock and literally it doesn't cost you extra money on commissions and they have an automatic investment program. So what I decided to do, instead of going in and having to buy $5 into crypto and $5 a day into the S&P 500, I set it up automatically. Robinhood does all the work. So if you wanna get Robinhood, get yourself a free stock, link in the description below. Now my very first $5 a day go into VOO. This is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Right now going for 356.06. Now right down below here if I scroll out to one year look at what has happened. Now this is the stock market of 2022. It literally went down and it was at, I think at the bottom like 22% down on the year. You can see right now this particular one down 15.86% tracking the S&P 500 meaning that the stock market is currently down 15.86 but you can see there's a little bit of a rebound there at the right hand side. So as you can probably guess, by starting with $5 a day at the beginning of the year and trailing through this whole entire year, yeah, I am down on my money. But here's what's really interesting about it. If I said to you, hey, would you like to just get $1,400? You'd probably be like, well, yes. That sounds great. And that is, as I look back, how easy this was. Even though I'm down on my money, if you look right down below here, look at this. I have four shares that I built up over this last year with a market value currently at $1,462. Now, if I decided to sell right now, which I definitely will not, I will have $1,462 extra dollars. But what's really interesting about this is it only started with $5 a day. And I thought, man, all those years I have been basically buying one of these for $5 a day, I could have been putting that away and building up a nest egg over time. And especially in the past, because the stock market has gone up. If you come over here to the five year, look at what is actually happening here. It has gone up, even though this year is down over that time, even with the stock market crash of 2020 with the pandemic, it's recovered and gone back up. Dang, I should have taken advantage of that instead of putting my money into other dumb things. But if you're new and you're a beginner and you're like, how do I get started? This is how I got started, $5 a day, every single day. So let's dig a little bit deeper here. So you got four shares, 1,400 extra dollars, and this is what happened. So you can see right there, it says average cost of $377, which does mean that my total return is down $87. Now for some people, that might be a little bit of an anxiety attack because to be down on your money by $87 is a lot of money. But here's the thing, as a smart investor, what we wanna do is not really care about that because we wanna look for the long term. And better yet, we wanna keep investing our $5 every single day. As a beginner, if you just put that $5 a day and you're not worried about losing that money, you're just like, I'm gonna put it away and not even think about it. Five bucks a day and not even think about it, come back in like five years and then let's see where this is. Now, certainly our shares are gonna be much higher. Our market value will be much higher. And the goal would be our total return is much, much higher. That is what we're looking for with the S&P 500. So let's take a look at the other investment I made, which was in Ethereum. Now, this has been a wild roller coaster the entire time since I started in January. So literally January 1st, put five bucks in and every single day have watched this thing go up, 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 and oh my gosh, down. And if you, even if you look right here, now as of the recording of this video, this was the day that uh, you know Elon Musk 
just recently bought Twitter. And as a result, there was a lot of money flowing into Dogecoin, but also into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Shiba Inu. And you can see there's a, quite a bump up here. If you go over here, bumps up to $1,600 and then fell back down from that 1600 level down to where we are now at 1568 just today. But whatever, long-term focus. Let's take a look at this one. Here, we don't quite yet have an Ethereum because if I go to the last year, you can see this one has gone down quite a bit. In fact, when we first got started, we were looking at a price of $4,627 for one Ethereum. So quite a big difference going from 4,000 to 1,500. So don't quite yet have a full Ethereum with $5 a day, but the value is sitting at $1,231. That means my average cost is at 1,835 and the total return is a gut-wrenching $210 loss. This has gone up to at least four or $500 loss. So it has recovered itself a little bit, but what I gotta do is focus on continuing that investment. The people that are the most patient, they kind of wait this out, they let the market do its thing, and then they look back five, 10, 15 years from now, are the ones that tend to laugh all the way to the bank. Meanwhile, everybody else is trying to get rich quick overnight. You know who you are. They can sometimes have huge wins and they look amazing in the day. And then in the month, they look awful because they actually lost all their money plus some. I don't wanna be that person. So before I get to the bonus tip, let me show you if you're new to Robinhood and you truly are interested in setting up this $5 a day. Again, the specific funds that I select are not investment advice. I'm not saying that they're the best funds. You gotta do your own research. But if you're interested in doing the automatic investment, here's what you can do. One thing I like to do is I always like to fill my buying power up. That's that $61. Now, all you have to do is transfer funds from your bank account into Robinhood. The reason I like to do that is so that way I always have cash available. And when that starts going down to about $20, I'll fill it up with another $100 or $200. That way it always has enough money to pull that $5 a day to put into both of my funds. So that's what I do and all I have to do is go over to the transfer button which you can find by clicking on the little human stick figure and then hitting transfer to Robinhood. Make sure your bank is linked up and then you can decide as much money or as little money as you wanna transfer. It does take a couple of days to transfer from your bank account into Robinhood. But the, another really cool thing about this app is that they give you instant buying power, which means that they'll give you that money before it even transfers from your bank. Just make sure you debit it correctly in your bank so that you know it's coming out and coming into Robinhood. So after you transfer your money, you're wondering how do you set up the automatic transfer? What you wanna do is go back to that main menu by clicking the little human stick figure. And then at the very top left-hand side, you'll notice a hamburger menu, three lines. Click on that and then go to where it says investing. Once you go into that menu, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you'll see where it says recurring investments. This is the magic, this is where it happens. Click on view your reoccurring investments and you can see right now, as I've told you, VOO and Ethereum are the two that I currently invest in every day. But let's say you want to invest in Apple, for example, $5 every single day. All you would have to do is click Create Recurring Investment. We do that, and then you can search right up here at the top for whatever you'd like to invest in. AAPL is the ticker symbol for Apple. I'll select that, and then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do it every single market day? Do you wanna do it once a week, every two weeks, every month? It is absolutely your option what you wanna do. Now, because I like to do the $5 a day, I would select on that. I would hit continue, and then it's gonna say, what do you want to do? Now, you can have it pull from your you know, checking account if you want to every single day. I don't like doing that because that just takes a lot of work, you know, balancing out my checkbook every month. So I decided to do the buying power on Robinhood. I hit continue. It'll ask you for a backup payment in case you forget to add funds. That's perfectly fine. Just hit whatever your bank account is, hit continue, and then here's the amount that you can put in. Now, you don't have to do $5 a day. You could only do $1 a day if that's what you can afford. If you want to be a gangster and do $100 a day, it's totally your option how much you want to invest. Just know that it's going to do this every single market day, Monday through Friday, when the stock market is open. Now that we talked about automatic investments, it's time for the bonus tip for those of you who are still with me. And thank you so much. Drop me a comment down below because I like to respond to everybody that has watched this video in its entirety. So drop me a line down below and I'll make sure I say hello. And I'm not trying to rhyme, but that, that kind of rhymed. Now the bonus tip is for the beginner investors that don't quite understand yet the power of dollar cost averaging. Now you can see right now, this S&P 500 ETF is going for $356. But if you come down here, you can see my average cost is 377. The key point is, as you continue to invest, whether that's $5 a day or $100 a month or whatever you decide you wanna do, the key would be that average cost will continue to come down. A lot of people miss the mark on this. And what they'll do is they'll invest, let's say up here, 
So if you invested back on, let's say January 28th, 2022, you invested there and it was at $406 a share. Let's say you bought an entire share of VOO at $406. Well, what would happen now is you're very, very sad because you're sitting at $356. And so you're gonna think, wow, I'm down on my money significantly. In fact, I'm down an entire 15% on my money. That's a lot, that's kind of sad, that's depressing. And you might end up selling, but what you want to focus on is considering if you truly trust and believe in whatever you're investing in and you have a consistent process, and that's the key word, a process set up for your investments, that's really going to help succeed in your overall long-term investments. So for example, you remember we could have been down 15%, but I'm only down by 5%. The reason for that in these turbulent markets is because I continue to buy the dip every single day. At $5 a day, you're buying the ups and downs every single day. So now my average cost has gone from what was $400 when I was investing back in January to now only $377, which means that once this rises back up to $377, I will now be breaking even on my money. Let's say it rises up to 380, 390, 400, or back to where it was at 450. Then I'm gonna be positive on my money, and that's exactly what we want. But what I don't wanna do is just sit here and hope it comes back up to my buy limit of $400. I want to get profit on my average cost. Now, as I continue to invest every single day, right now, because the price right here at 356 is lower than the 377, I'm gonna to continue to bring that average cost down little by little day by day. So that's one thing to think about in your process. Do you have a trust and belief system to have a consistent investment schedule to take advantage of the highs and the lows? That's my bonus tip for this video. Now, if you enjoyed this, drop me a like down below, check out this video next, and we'll see you on the next video.